excuse me, what are you doing? You're supposed to be soaking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but a lot of you know me as the Reptiles from Instagram. So today is a video that a lot of people have been requesting. I'm going to do a day in the life of a zoo educator. So it is Monday today, or my Friday, um, and they're pretty laid back. We don't get a lot of programs on Mondays, usually none at all. And it's usually just me and one other girl working, and she's on vacation this week, so it's literally just me in the education department today. And I'm the low man on the totem pole, so I don't have a lot of emails to do, or any paperwork, or scheduling. I'm not trained to answer the phones, so there's not much I do on Mondays. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty slow day, but it should also be kind of a fun day, because that means I have more time to just play with animals, more or less. <laughs> or, I mean, sorry, enrich animals, more or less. If I don't play with them, I enrich them. I make their lives enriching. Okay, so it is 9 o'clock, so I'm heading off to work to be there for 9.30. I do have about a half hour drive to get to the zoo. The nice part about this job is your schedule is a little flexible, depending on what programs you work. So, say you work late because of a program, or you come in super early because of a program, and then you work over 8 hours, you have to make that up somewhere else, either by coming in late or coming in early. So it's kind of up to your, like, it's your choice on like how you adjust your schedule. So since it's just me today, and I only have one program at one o'clock, and it's close by, um, I decided that I would just shut off my alarms, let myself sleep in, because I don't sleep really anyway. I mean, I was awake and ready to get up by eight o'clock. Um, but I've been just really exhausted this week and just struggling to sleep and whatnot. So I decided I would just let myself sleep and come in on my own time. So I decided going for 9.30. So I'm leaving right now. And yeah. Guys, I just saw a bald eagle. Oh my God. A bald eagle just flew over the road and swooped into a tree. Oh my God. This day just got so freaking good. Woo. So I always like to start off my day planning out what animals I'm going to bring with me on programs just so that when it comes time for me to pack them up I already know who I'm getting and I don't have to sit there and try to figure it out later. I just make a list, I write it down, and I put it in my back pocket so it's ready to go when I start to pack up animals. closet. Now I have a, about an hour until I have to get ready for my zoo mobile. So I've got Grace and we're gonna go walk around the zoo for a little bit. Snack time and then packing up animals for the zoo mobile. Yum! So I totally didn't film the packing part because I In 3.2 miles, today. turn right onto um, Henderson Street. Sorry, my GPS is going. Um, so I have all the animals packed up. I'm in the Zoomobile. We're on our way to the birthday party. I have our European glass lizard. I have our monkey tail skink, a uh, chinchilla, and a hedgehog. So it should be a good party. It's a lot of fun. Um, this will be my first time presenting one of the glass lizards because I got trained on them and then they went on do not use because they wanted to try to put them together. So they needed time to adjust to each other and to their new surroundings and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is my first time actually presenting a glass lizard. So I'm going to be sitting here in the car for 20 minutes of the drive, um, just repeating glass lizard facts to myself. <laughs> but yeah, so we're all packed up. You can't see them, they're way in the back, but uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so that was like the best private party I've ever done. The kids were so well behaved, very attentive. They asked questions, they were excited. And the parents were awesome. They offered me pizza, they tipped, like that was the best private party I've ever done. So I'm covered in chichilla for now and it's getting my nose. 
And yeah, so we're gonna head back to the zoo to unpack animals and go on lunch. All right, so now we're gonna put animals away. So starting with Andy or Chinchilla that we brought, we're gonna put him away. Bye, Andy. Next up is Finn. All right, so I ended up leaving work now early. I have a little bit of a headache and there's nothing left for me to do. So headed out now early, just taking the hit on my paycheck, but whatever. Um, took my $20 tip, went to Michael's to get supplies for herpetology, went to Walmart to get groceries and a pretzel because this Walmart has an empty hands. So how cool is that? And now I can finally make the half hour drive back home to start my weekend. And by start my weekend, I mean film like crazy and stock up the shop. So yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me today on my Friday. I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting. I definitely want to do more of these videos on busier days, but I figured since I was the only one in the office today, why not? So thank you guys for watching. If you want to actually see a really busy day in my job, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it, and we'll see you for the next video.